Hey guys, one of the easiest ways to add a passive income stream to your business is to package your unique knowledge and expertise into an online course. Luckily, these days that is super easy with programs like Teachable, which allow you to set up your course and everything you need in order to sell it on their platform. In this video, I'm showing you exactly step-by-step step how to set up your course, your sales pages, everything you need on Teachable. That way you can start selling your course right from the get-go and add that passive income stream to your business. My name is Bree, and I'm here to help you crush your course launch, create a wildly successful signature course or program, and achieve consistent monthly income in your business. So if those are goals you're looking to hit in the next year or so, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified every Friday when a new video goes live. Also, if you want my shortcut to quickly launching, creating, and selling your course, make sure you stick around to the very end. I've got something that's gonna help you get there. Step number one is to get started on Teachable with a free trial. So you can sign up for that at the link in the description below, which gives you access to the full professional plan on Teachable for 14 days. And after that, you can decide what plan makes sense for you uh, and at what price point. Once you're ready, you can head over to teachable.com and click the get started button. Once you fill out all the information, you'll be taken to your Teachable back end. So in order to create a new school, you can go over here and click create new school, come up with your name and create new school. So step number two is to create your teachable school. So you'll choose your school name, set up your custom domain if you wanna do that and answer a few questions here about your school before you get going. So once you have set up all your information, you'll be ending up in your school dashboard. First of all, when you come up with the name of your school, that is your overarching school name, it's not your course name, you can have multiple courses within your school. So usually you make it something to do with your name or your business name or whatever. So step number three is to get familiar with your course dashboard. This is where you're gonna be spending most of your time in creating your course, in managing your students, and running your course-based business. So this right now is your dashboard. You'll have a graph here showing your sales once you start making those. And there are some tutorials and first steps in here, which you can follow along with if you are new to the platform. So also over here is your users section. This is where you will have a list of everybody who has enrolled in your courses. You have then the site tab, which has a bunch of things to do with pages inside of your course. So any pages you build, whether that is sales pages, thank you pages, all of that will go in here. Sales shows you the transactions that you've made, the breakdowns and all of that. Emails is for the emails you send to your course students. You have settings, you have, and then down here you have your list of created courses. Right now we don't have any yet, but we're gonna add those in. So that brings us to step number four to create your first course. So you can hit the plus button here next to products and we want to create a course. So let's go on to next. So type in your course title, your subtitle, you can edit all of these things later if you want to. So don't feel like you have to commit to a specific name if you haven't come up with one you love just yet. So we'll create the course. So now that I've created my first course, this is the course curriculum and this is where you're going to be building out your course and your sections. So Teachable allows you to add all sorts of different content in here and it is organized in these sections and lectures. The section, you wanna use sections as say your modules. So breaking your course down into the major sections and within each module, you will have lectures or lessons. So you can go here to add new lectures. You can click up here to add new sections. So that is pretty self-explanatory. So let's go in and edit. You can change the name there. Um, but if I want to edit this lesson, I can do that. So you can see I can add in files. I can add in text quizzes, all sorts of different types of media. So I wanna add in a video. So I'm gonna click on add file and I'm gonna upload something. So from my device, select a file to upload and let's go 
and upload just an example video here. So you can upload any type of content that you need to help you deliver your course content the best way that you can to get results for your students. So that could be videos, audio, text, PDFs, cheat sheets, worksheets, whatever. You can create those and add them in. So now you can see within this lesson, I have my video section here. If I want to add another file, if I want to add a PDF, I could do that. Um, but I'm going to add in a text block. So this is a text block. Maybe you want to explain something, you want to write something out for your students and you can add that in as well. So you can add in multiple types of media to your lessons and you can reorganize those as well. So say I want to explain something before the video, I can stick that above the video section. So let's see, what does that look like? You can also decide if you want comments on or off and set that there. So let us, let's preview that and see what this looks like. So my video is still uploading, it's still processing, but you can see this is what it looks like for my students. So there's my text and then my video and the comment section at the bottom. So that's what that would look like. You can just preview to see what that looks like and make sure it's, make sure you're happy with the layout. Um, but once you are done with that, you can hit publish and then that lesson will be live for any students who happen to enroll. So back into the back end of our lecture, there's a couple of little options over here. So you can decide if you want your videos to be downloadable by your students. That is totally up to you. If you want them to be able to download, you can click or upload captions. So there's some options there you can play around with if you want to. Otherwise, you are finished with that lesson. So then you would go through and complete your add in your new section. So section two, let's do module two and we'll create a new section and then I can add in new lectures under there. So you're going to continue this, fill out your course with your modules, with all of your content, your lessons, your videos, your PDFs and all of that. Um, once you've done that and you've published it all, you want to hit publish on your course so then students can purchase and enroll. So let's publish that now. So afterwards, that takes us to your course information section. So that is step number five where we update your course info and add a thumbnail. So on this page, you can scroll all the way down to the bottom to the branding section and you can choose your settings here. So this is where you're going to add your course image or a thumbnail. So again, they tell you here the recommended size for that. So you can go and add one. So let's just choose one here. You would obviously make one that fits your branding. Um, and then that is going to show up on the thumbnail inside my course as well as my sales page. So there's all sorts of options you want to go through and check if you want to change anything. Um, there's your details here as well. If you want to change anything that you set before, this is where you would do that. So step number six is now to set your course pricing. We have our course ready to go. Now we have to set up our pricing options so we can send traffic to it and get some sales, get our first students enrolled in our course. So we're going to go over to the pricing option for this course and we want to add a pricing plan. So there are four different types of pricing available within Teachable. There is free if you want to have a free course, one-time purchase, payment plan, and subscription. Subscriptions are great for things like memberships where somebody is paying a monthly fee to stay in a group and keep access to the content. But for most courses, you normally offer both a one-time purchase option and a payment plan if you would like. Payment plans generally help people, especially if you have a higher ticket course, it helps them afford it and space out the whole price of the course. So let's go ahead and make a one-time purchase. You can choose your currency and the amount. So let's do this one at 197. We'll do this pay in full. You can add in your subtitle and description and also choose if you want to limit access to a certain period of time. So. Once I am happy with that, I add it in and then I can copy my URL if I want to share that checkout page with anybody at any time. So what that looks like. Okay, so here is my checkout page for the offer I just created and this is what it looks like. So you can edit this a bit if you want to. If you want to add in testimonials and extra things over here, you can do that as well. Um, if you do want to create coupons, you can do that from the coupon 
section over here. I'm not gonna go into that, but then that also allows you to do sales at discounts and things like that that add urgency and get people to buy. Step number seven is to edit your course pages. So let's go over to pages. Your course has several pages that you can design and that you can edit. So automatically your course generates a sales page, a checkout page, and a thank you page. So you can take a look at these and see what they look like as default. And you can edit those by clicking the edit button if you want to. Um, but the one thing you definitely do want to edit is for sure your sales page. So let's go and edit that and see what that looks like. So your sales page is super basic. It doesn't have what you need in order to sell. So you need to definitely add in these things, change your title, change your branding, your images, your text, because it's all just generic default. So you can go through this and change anything that you want to. The editor is super simple and easy to use. So if I would just change this here to test course, that changes that. You can change your subheading. If you want to change any images, you can simply upload and replace that. Um, and when you scroll down to the bottom, there is the section for the curriculum. So that is going to show all the lessons that you have added to your curriculum. They're gonna show up here so your potential students can see what is included in the course. The next block here is the pricing block. Once you have set your pricing plans and you have set them to publish, they will show up here. So if you have say a pay in full and a payment plan, you can add those in. So let's add in my paid in full. And now you can see that shows up as an option. If you want to change the look of anything, say I want to change the colors, I can do that by clicking on the design tab and changing those here. So the default page has a lot of sections If there's anything you do not want on here. So let's scroll down. I don't want to have this example feature product block. So I can go over here and just simply delete that block if I want to. Um, if you want to add in new blocks, you can go, if you want to add a new blocks, you do that again from here and you can choose which type you want. So there's images, text, button, video, HTML. If you have something custom coded you want to add um, and all of that. So you can add that in and drag them around to different sections of your sales page and make it exactly the way you want. So Teachable's sales page editor makes it really easy to design your sales page. So you can focus on adding in your sales copy, your marketing graphics, your logos, your branding, and really turn your course sales page into one that converts. So again, with this, you can click the preview button and see what that looks like away from the back end, see it from the front end view and see what that will look like to your potential students. You can do the same with your checkout once you have that published, your thank you page. Let's just take a quick peek. So it's very basic. So I would likely want to edit that as well. And that has a similar editor with the edit page button. So that takes us to step number eight, and that is to hit publish, put your course out there and start promoting. So once you're happy with everything within your course, you have all of your content uploaded, you're happy with your sales page, your design, your pricing and all of that, you are ready to go. You are ready to publish. So now you can hit that publish button if you haven't already. And now you can start promoting your course, sending traffic to your sales page and enroll your first student. This is one of my favorite things about courses because even though they involve a bit of work up front, making sales and enrolling students is a pretty hands-off process, which is perfect for the kind of business and lifestyle that I personally want to live. I don't know about you, but it's a pretty great business model. Um, and before we wrap up here, I just wanna make a note on the free trial. You will need to upgrade to a paid plan before publishing and selling your course. So once you are ready to go, check out the different levels of plans and choose what works for you sign up and you can get started selling your program. All right, guys, that is it for this video. But before you go, if you have been putting off making your course a reality or you are stuck in course creation hell, I can help. 
I'm hosting an exclusive free training called Course Idea to Consistent Profit. Now, in this training, I'm sharing my simple strategy for creating, launching, and scaling your online course in 90 days flat. And all of that without relying on paid ads or having a huge audience to begin with. So click the link in the description below to grab your spot. It is completely free and I am dropping some of my best insights on creating and launching courses in this training. There has literally never been a better time to create your course and I would love to help you make it a reality. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, hit subscribe and share it with another coach or creator who could also benefit from this content. And if you're ready to take your course based business to the next level, check out these videos next.